The city of Oviedo has approximately 2,048 acres that are part of the Lake Jessup watershed. Lake Jessup spans 16,000 acres of floodplains and open water. Storm runoff from Oviedo is treated first in stormwater ponds, underground chamber systems, ditches and wetlands, and is then conveyed to Lake Jessup. There are two major sub-watersheds to Lake Jessup in the city of Oviedo, Sweetwater Creek and Lake Charm. Sweetwater Creek travels north approximately 3.6 miles from the central area of Oviedo to Lake Jessup. Sweetwater Creek has an identified regulatory floodway by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, better known as FEMA. The Lake Charm area and northeast of County Road 426 outfalls through the unincorporated Seminole County via ditches and wetlands to Lake Jessup. Following the Clean Water Act of 1972 and its subsequent amendments, the following three main goals were highlighted. One, to preserve the integrity of the nation's surface waters. Two, to achieve water quality for fishing and recreational use. And three, eliminate harmful pollutants from direct discharge. Today, communities such as the city of Oviedo regulate their pollutant loadings around the lake and contribute to the Adopted Basin Management Action Plan. This is done annually through an assortment of efforts called Best Management Practices. Some of Oviedo's best management practices are as follows. One, preserving open space requirements. Each parcel in Oviedo is required to have a space of natural ground cover to allow natural filtration. Creating treatment areas in each subdivision or commercial property, such as pond and swales, in which harmful nutrients fall to the bottom of the treatment areas and cleaner water is flushed out. Fertilizer is now restricted and sewage is strictly governed. The public has a tremendous ability to reduce the harmful pollutants by picking up pet waste and only fertilizer during certain periods. Sweeping the streets. The street sweeper sweeps oils, residue, and trash from the city streets before it enters into the storm system with rain. Creating educational materials. Placing catch basin baskets in inlets to catch road trash and the inlet decal marking program. Performing annual inspections of major outfall areas and ensuring no illicit dumping is occurring in both residential and commercial areas. While there's still a lot of work to do for Lake Jessup to bring it back to its former beauty, the water quality is improving. This is due to the help of residents, stakeholders, local governments, regulating agencies, and invaluable volunteers. Everyone has worked hard to keep the awareness alive of this valuable piece of history and its integrity of its water quality so it may be enjoyed for generations to come. So you're probably asking yourself by now, what can I do to help Lake Jessup? We have a list of things that you can do around your home and business to help keep the water quality clean. Ensure that septic tanks are inspected every couple of years and make sure the system is adequate for the quantity of sewage it is treating. Reduce your use of fertilizer and focus on using a slow release formula. Never fertilize prior to a rainfall. This does not water the mix in. It merely washes it away into the nearby storm sewer. Fertilizer runoff is one of the leading attributes of unsightly algae blooms and fish kills. Avoid parking vehicles on city streets if they are leaking oil or fluids. Wash your car to car wash or in a grassy area. Car washes are specifically designed to have underground systems that capture the chemicals instead of directly running them into the storm sewer. Carry a bag and pick up your pet waste. Pet waste is extremely high in nitrogen and phosphorus and also carries diseases such as salmonella and E. coli. Avoid blowing leaves into the street. Leaves and debris that enter our city system will degrade and become harmful discharges to our surrounding waters. Discard yard waste in the proper fashion. Never dump yard waste into conservation or wetland. The extra rotting vegetation turns into harmful nutrients that the area is not designed to handle. And lastly, become aware of the lake and its history. Consider volunteering at the various organizations that implement work days or have meetings to discuss what further steps can be taken to improve and restore Lake Jessup's quality.